hi guys welcome to pc tips pro in this video today i'm going to show you how you can install wordpress setup in your cpanel hosting with hostinger.com so if you have got your uh, website hosting which is cpanel hosting with hostinger then you can simply go ahead and uh, follow the instructions which i'm providing you here and you can install the wordpress setup in your cpanel hosting and guys if you have not subscribed my channel yet please go ahead and do subscribe the channel so let's get started here first you need to log in to your cpanel hosting with hostinger so i'll just go ahead and open the hostinger website as you can see and we'll click on this login option and we'll enter my credentials to log in into the hostinger account as you can see it's taking time a little bit here now it's logging into the account here as you can see I have got the hosting with the cPanel and uh, I'm sorry with the hostinger and it's already set up everything now but make sure guys before going ahead and installing the WordPress in your cPanel you should have two thing at least first thing you should have a registered domain as you can see I have a registered domain with uh, hostinger which is the pctstore.com and you should have the cPanel already purchased and set up with the hostinger so if you have both things ready then uh, I will show you here how you can just do that so when you log into your C I mean the hostinger account you can see the hosting here is coming up uh, the purchased hosting so I will just simply click on the manage option and once I click on this manage option it will log in into uh, the interface of your cPanel and you will have to scroll down and in the website section you will see there is an auto installer option so I will click on this auto installer and now when I click on this auto installer you can see there are lot of the apps coming up make sure guys these all are the inbuilt app is coming up with the hostinger cpanel hosting where you can directly go and simply install the wordpress and it will be installed in your domain so here you can see the wordpress hosting is uh, wordpress i mean the plugin or you can see the software and the auto installer is coming up here so i will select this wordpress and now you can see here when you uh, select the WordPress it will give you the settings option where you can uh, you know set everything so here you can see uh, the first section is coming up HTTP so this is the section that means if you have already installed the SSL certificate on your uh, I mean the domain then uh, you should select HTTPS and if you have not installed the SSL certificate then you should select HTTP so I already have the uh, install I already have installed the uh, this I mean the SSL certificate with the on this domain so I will select this HTTP now here it's coming up with the administrator username and the password so you can set any username and the password according to your comfortness which you can remember easily so I'm setting up this username and the password make sure these credentials you should remember all the time otherwise in future let's suppose if you forget this these credentials then you will have to reset the password and you will have to you know uh, come up I mean you will have to go through the, all the process again now here it's coming up with the administrator email which is my by default email and this is the website title so I will the title of the website that means it should be the, the proper title uh, that represent your website so this is PC tips pro and you can choose a language which is English or whatever according to your use and here this is coming up 5.6 which is the pH I mean which is the WordPress version so you can click on this change option and you can look for whether you have got the latest version or not 
so the 5.6 is the latest version of the uh, of the uh, WordPress now after selecting those options you can just come down here and you can simply click on this install option and here you can see in the database section it's coming up by default create a new database so let it be let it uh, create a new database with all the new parameters it will be easy for you to use and configure so after selecting these all the options simply click on this install option when you click on install option it will take some time to go ahead and install and configure the wordpress in the desired domain where you are trying to install your wordpress setup and make sure guys as i explained you you should must have the domain and uh, hosting already registered and set up with the hostinger then only it will work now this method you can use for any cpanel hosting either you have the uh, you know the uh, hosting account uh, with the godaddy or hosting or any other and guys one more thing uh, the hosting is uh, you know running the uh, new year and the uh, christmas sale this time so you can go ahead and buy the hosting uh, hosting you know the services from them and you can get the heavy discount from uh, the site i will mention the link in the description where you can you know you can just go ahead and simply buy the uh, hosting services from them as you can see if you go to the website here you can see the best wishes sale is going on and guys i will do one thing i will mention one coupon code in the uh, in the description where you can get seven percent more discount by buying the i mean the hosting from them so that's all guys i believe i have cleared now here as you can see once uh, you can see the installed application it's coming up here wordpress and where you can simply click on this uh, icon i mean login and you can see here the link and you can see the website and you know the uh, installation is completely done here and guys make sure now guys make sure when you install the wordpress when the installation will be complete in your cpanel now you will get this link uh, as i show you by clicking on the link you can go to your website now when you talk about to go into the admin panel of your c i mean which is your wordpress you can see just beside the domain name you can see there is a three dots icon coming up so click on this and then click on this manage option and here by clicking on this manage option you can see all the you know uh, the interface of your uh, wordpress where you can make the changes in your website and we can you know you can do everything here you can see by clicking on this edit website you can edit your website and everything you can see your account your email your domain website file database advanced every option is here that means you can simply uh, click on this manage option and you can make the changes in your website whatever you would like so that's all guys again if you have any uh, concern any query you can write in the comment section i will be there to answer and guys if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please go ahead and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.